unless it's a, like I think a, a mid tempo controller that just goes ham. But yeah. I like that. <laughs> what is that here? <laughs> right, exactly. I mean, it doesn't seem like. Hard. And looks like he probably wants to wait for level four for double siphon. Oh, oh he's, he's, got the per, he's got the perch creep as well. And DJ setting it up. Scorch Surf will come out. There's your second perch. If he's doing it, DJ with the crypt as well. They should be able to find it. The body block. DJ with the body block. He's done it. DJ there with the body blocking the perch. Hard to kill with, 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 the, with the heroes they have. And because of Warcry, just the, all the HP through him being a strength hero. And then with all the additional armor, there's not enough damage output. There's no spam. Oh, we can see him with the reveal of the bounty trying oh. to go in on the line. Nice two master, and now with the spank coming in, a two master to follow through. Moving in with the right click, can they do the try to dive on the line? But he's already got the wall cry on it. He's going to tune this one out. Cut him up. He's straight for Brent out. DJ trying to protect their world and the line, but DJ turning up to make sure that the punishment is paid. DJ turning up, turning that kill. His maneuver, especially with that observer war. But once Spectre hits six, maybe they can get an easy kill on the Beastmaster. Yeah, and, and one one of the downsides of uh, of Sven is that he he needs to scale. Right? Oh yeah, and there's the horn straight in, looking for the kill on mid. They'll get it. Didn't think any more. Oh, no, Spectre, back out. But putting a lot of heavy pressure around. There is, of course. DJ around the corner. We'll see if he comes in for the plays. DJ is going to start to look for this one. Let's see if uh, they can get any more help. Doom around the corner. He does have a bounty. And turn around, munch down on one of them. DJ continuing to chase bounty he had to reveal himself. Now, I mean, this is a hard kill for DJ to get this Doom incredibly tanky. Now with the regen and uh, three, four, three, trying to come in to get the Doom. Okay, Bounty reveals himself and Fnatic. They'll just take the easy kill. They'll take the easy kill, now maybe not check it to see if the dust was out on DJ, because he popped it straight away. They're going to try and go for the Doom here, with the side one now with the end chance slow. Here he comes, Fenn on the ground, he's got a way, Wolf drops up the net, and now he's going to get the PM coming on the rotation, punishes one, side one onto the Doom, they're all going to get a return, and now Blink, trying to find the Death Robin, we're on DJ, can he stay for him, one of the Death Robin, turns around, gets the Swarm out, double game four, but now he's got a back, Blink, he's got a run, he's got a run, DJ, chase it down, Blink, try to find the Death Robin, get one more, jump down, They could actually catch Wings out if Wings try and commit for this one. We'll see if they try to move in. Fnatic come around. They'll pop up the Wolves running in the vision straight out Wings. They'll climb over on mid one. They'll drop the Doom as well. Try to bring mid one down. They should be able to find that kill at the same time. Coming through. They'll take down the Wings. Drops in return. Now 3-4-3 three, three on the retreat. And it's done. It's Wings chasing down Fnatic. Can they get TGS? Well, he's got the Nature's Attendance to heal. But it'll be too much. Fine, let's see if they can make a jump. Just to the sidelines. The smoke now dispelled. Uh, so it's going to be Wings getting the dagger out now. We'll see them actually try and chase down the, the lion who's going to hold back the specs for the time being. There's the Sensor Stump as well to, to buy time for Fnatic to escape. They're still trying to chase, but still, Lion trying to kite them back, but Lion, he's been caught out by the Lance here. Lion, I don't think he gets himself out of this one. A 3 4 3 will be punished. Wings there with the chase down, they'll get one. I'm positioning too, like if they walk up, they, can, they have to walk in a Spirit Siphon plus Exorcism and plus a Roar, which slows all the targets that are around them. So I think they could have easily picked up a couple of heroes had they been in a position. Alright, Shadow's gonna hold on to Tier 1 tower, or even if they move into top river. All of Fnatic's presence right now is on the bottom side of the map. Oh, DJ picks up, but he didn't quite catch the bounty. And there'll be a roar out to paper. The Hawk comes through and has wings. Look at the one. They'll find a higher. Can they try and change for a second? Doesn't let it catch out, DJ. But again, these matches they could roar me at any moment with, you know, some uh, enchantress. To... Oh, Shadow. He's not actually popping the dust there, and that's going to be the Shadow. He jumps away from this gank and into another as he catches out mid one. DJ getting forced back as well by the Death Warden. But... What Wings was doing. And now Wings got another kill on the Death Prophet. But now and they have, uh, now they have extra Yeah, and now he's gonna come in and join the fight this time. Getting the stun out onto the bounty hunter. One more should do, but now he gets himself to the way. No, he pops. He'll find one. The question is, can they find themselves anything more here? And it looks like, not for the time being, as Wings. Very nicely disengaged, so it's just the bounty down. An attic at least. They should be able to find this push, get the tier one. I think it might be a good time to go in a room. A lot of armor on them as well. On top of the uh, war cry from Sven, there's also Wild Ring River. Yeah, the side of Wings, they need to do something about this. They're going to move it in here. They've the big one, though, that he's got. Wings up to go for this defense for Wings. Now three back and forth, what's the buyback? Well, they want to commit. Oh, I'm getting burst down, though. Can't quite get them all out. That's going to be one down in the turn. Wings holding on by mid one. Still with the exorcism up. Pushing the side of Wings back and down the dune. Stun up, but that is again another thing. Will Wings alive in the turn. Mid one. Jump turn and trying to continue to fight here. Can they bring it down? They're facing back. They'll get him. They'll get DJ as well. And Wings hold the base.
And they punish Fnatic incorrectly. That'll benefit them greatly, it doesn't matter who they kill. I can see at the bottom, TP backs. Coming in from the side here, they'll start to move in, they've got the detection figure coming out as well, but the Mega's at the turnaround! They'll actually find themselves one foot to one for one! Now trying to remove the illusions, but Lion, he's going to get taken down by the Spectre! It's two for one trade at the moment, Death Ford hitting into mid one, it's going to be a third one for Wings! Very, very nice fight once again, we still... We're there to kill the Death Prophet, and then, like, everyone was there to just kill the... Buy it immediately. Yeah, Wings is playing really, really well on all of their, their heroes, realizing what they need to do in order to create this chaos in the in the Fnatic lineup. And they've, they've done so successfully throughout the entire game. Look at how found this PL actually is. He has the Fusal Blade, a Yasha. Oh, Gunstrap on there, jumping in onto the face, trying to get the damage out of the face. Hey, 7 12, but he might actually just get himself away here. Ready, but now the final drop, and that brings him down. They've all lose the line yet again. They're looking to move in for more time to change on the Wings, but the Fusal Blade for the PL. Holding them back and now Wings. Tony back is trying to fight him against the Sven. He's going to pull one back to Glenn. He goes down. And now, oh, oh, is he gonna get a rampage? They're going back in on DJ. Is he gonna get it? He's gonna try and fight it. Oh. Oh. Rampage for the PL. 22 minutes into the game. And 818. I mean, this man, he's had an absolute stunning performance with this kind of play stuff. I got it. It's a bad time when you lose rack 22 minutes yep. of the Spectre. <laughs> Against yeah. the line of wings is really have lockdown or the specific disable control because of track and then all the diffusal plates they have. There's nothing Sven can do, he's just getting kited. Almost but standing still. Overall though, this was just a severe lack of execution from Fnatic. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. Game 1 and Game 2. I think uh, Enchantress played really, really well, but the other components of the line... There we go, Ross! The PL, and he's trying to take me out with the finger as well. He's falling low, they'll get it! That's the PL on DJ! As we do, no, the ghost coming out. Can they try and come out on top of this one? Mahayo getting taken down by Shadow. He's just too strong at this point. Triple kill for the Doom. They'll look for mid one as well, and they'll get it! Four down on the side of Fnatic. It'll be a buyback for the spend there. Trying to turn this one around, but no, it's too much! The Spectre and the PL far too fat for the side of Fnatic to deal with, but GG is cool. We're going to a Game 3 here in this series of Wings. I mean, that was a totally different Wings to what we saw in Game 1. That was, that was incredible play. I they think they executed really, really well. They knew exactly what they needed to do, as Ben pointed out. Spectre haunted the second he turned 6. Yeah. Doom was used constantly throughout the game. They just got so many kills when they really shouldn't have. I feel like uh, Fnatic didn't really utilize their first pick. It reminded me of E-Home with a first pick Doom. It was just like, what, like you pick this hero and the, the, the lineup just doesn't feel like that hero isn't even in the lineup at all. And similar with the